Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're staying warm. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm cold down here in South Texas, because I know that where there's all these winter storms going on, it's a lot colder where most of you are. But I hope you're doing well. And again, I hope you're staying warm. I am grateful for my home and protection that we have against the cold. Um, with this being February, there's a lot of focus on Valentine's Day. It has not um, been one of my favorite holidays. Just, uh, well, I won't go into that, but <laughs> it. Uh, is a favorite for many people. So I went looking through my old tiles and I came across this one that I did in February of 2019. And it is a combination of this fragment from Marguerite Samama. And she is a CZT. And I can't remember exactly where she lives, but she's um, not in the United States. And then the other one is by Jenna Black, and it's called Cross Your Heart. And I honestly don't know if I saw this, but it says on the back that it is a uh, combination of Love Fragment and cross your heart. And um, I got inspiration from a post about cross your heart from Lynn Mead. And I'll try to remember to put the link to her website and that post in uh, the description. Okay, so I wanna show you just real quick. Um, the love fragment is simply a triangle and this one's not going to be perfect good for me i don't do perfect <laughs> and then down on the bottom we add this to make it look like a heart and then she simply brings from this corner to the center of the heart and from this corner curve down to the center of the heart okay that's really all it is and then she adds some shading now for cross your heart it starts with a big plus sign or a cross, which is how it gets its name. And then she simply goes from corner to corner, making these hearts. And I try to put a dot there so I have something to aim for in the center. So let me show you that again. I kind of go up from the very center and just put a little dot. And then I'm gonna come around to make my heart. And then she does that four times. But you can do this with more of the little hearts. Um, put six or eight and then here's how she does the center but I'm doing mine differently so um, we're going to put one two three four five six seven eight of those center hearts and then it'll work out to be the same number of hearts on the outside I am going to work on 
my usual tile. This is four inches across by four and a half inches down. This uh, is cut out because it's part of my disc binding system. And if you're interested in knowing more, I do have a video and the link is in the descript description. Sorry about that. Um, in order to make this look kind of symmetrical, I am going to use uh, Circle Maker, okay? And this one is three inches, and I'm going to very lightly put a circle. Okay, and since this already has the markings for the center, I'm gonna take advantage of that. Okay, so I have a circle and the horizontal lines are gonna go straight across. Okay, and another one. And I'm doing this lightly. And now I'm gonna try to be halfway in between. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then another one, halfway in between. So now we have our circle that is divided into eight triangles. And I'm gonna put another circle in the center and I want it to be about half the size of this. If I went in about halfway, I want that circle to be about right there. And I think the one and a half looks pretty good. And my lines aren't exactly right, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna put another light circle in here. Okay, and now I'm done with this. Okay, so I forgot to say I'm using a graphite pencil. I'm gonna use a Micron 01. I might need my uh, kneaded eraser. And I also have one of these erasers that uh, comes out kind of like a pen does. And it's just easier to get into some spots if I need to. And I'm going to do it similar to this because I think it helps it look better if you have some color. So um, I have three watercolor markers in pink, light green, and yellow. All right, let's get started. And when I found this tile, I don't remember like I said, how I did it. So I have practiced for a while this morning trying to figure out how I did it. And i um, going to do my best to make it look similar. OK, so let's start in the very center. And we're going to begin by putting the little hearts. Let's go ahead and in this center ring, we're going to put our lines to make the V. We're starting with the love fragment. Okay, and now I'm gonna go about, not quite to the top, but I'm gonna do my hearts now. And I'm starting kind of in the center so that I can make them look divided equally. So I'm starting here, 
I'm going back. And again, this is making our center hearts. And of course, you can do it however it works best for you. But like I say, I'm trying to find the center because it just looks better if it's divided evenly. And I have always had a struggle making a heart look good, <laughs> which could be part of the reason I avoid um, Valentine's because I can't draw a heart to look good. Okay, one more. All right, so now we have all of our hearts in the center. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now I'm gonna come up, ooh, let's see, about this far on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my heart again. And this is on the outside. This would be about the center. So I'm gonna come up and make my heart come up and back down. And this one will meet here. Okay. And then this should come back down like this. And this will come back down like that. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that again. Like I said, I don't remember exactly how I did this, but that seems to have worked. So we're gonna go up and around and back down. Okay. Up and around, back down to center. And we're gonna bring this line back down. So here you can see that is a version of this love fragment, but my heart is a little bit bigger. Okay, again, we're gonna start here. I'm gonna go up, around, and back down to the center of that heart. Back, around, and down to that heart. Then I'm gonna bring my line back down. So we're just gonna keep going around like that. Find your center. Make your heart. Find your center. And make your heart. Then we can bring our line down, okay? We're just gonna keep repeating that. Finish my line. I was going to do this on a tile that I colored with kind of a pink watercolor, but <clears throat> excuse me, the more that I practiced, the more I felt like I needed to add the color to these hearts individually, like I did on the original tile, instead of having all pink on my paper. Okay. All right, so basically that's it. That's how we do the first part. 
I'm going to go ahead with my kneaded eraser now. Soften it a little bit and remove the lines that I put, my guidelines. And if you're doing that, make sure you wait until your ink has dried. And I know some of you guys are gonna do a fantastic job on this. I hope that I'll see them on social media. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is these auras. And for each one of these, we're gonna start at the tip where the heart meets and go back down to the bottom of the heart. And then from each side, we're gonna start and make an aura that goes down to the bottom. We're gonna move up just a little bit, do another aura and it's gonna meet at the tip of the heart. And then one more here. Okay, so I added one, two, three, four lines. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat that. I tried several different ways of doing this this morning and it just wasn't looking right. Tried some different ideas, but I think this original idea was the best. So we're just going to continue to make each one of these hearts with the little R's. And you can play with this to make it different. Um, like I said, let's see, this is my practice piece. So um, on this one, I put orbs in the center and this is the same auras that I have. And on this one, I brought them around and kept coming in a little bit on each one. See what I mean? So play with it. And my first one was pretty even all the way around. I can't say that I do my work quite as well, as I did in the beginning. Let's just put it that way. Do you ever look back on a tile and think, did I do that? <laughs> I do it quite often. Okay, we're just going to keep going around. 
If this is your first time to watch one of my videos, I do not speed them up because I get too anxious if I'm trying to watch a video that has the tangling sped up. So you are able to increase or decrease the speed of these videos through YouTube settings. If I were not teaching on a video, I would probably be doing this much slower, which is probably how I got this one to look as even as it is. All right, so that's the basics. And with Cross Your Heart, she actually comes out this way and adds more petals, if you will. Um, I'm not sure that I wanna add any more petals on this. There's a lot of things that you can do. I think I'll just do what we have here so that we can uh, kind of pull in the color. So we're just gonna do where we have the space in between the hearts. It's gonna come up. Just very simple. You could even put just round if you wanted to, like crescent moon, put a half circle. This kind of matches the leaf, if you will, of um, the love fragment. Okay, and then inside each one of these, we're gonna put a circle. Okay, so just very simple. I'll zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> and try to stay on screen. So all I did was put an orb and then little circles coming up. I mean, lines coming out from it in all directions. And we're gonna add a little color there. I don't usually add color to my tiles. I think most of you know that. Usually I'll add color to my tile before I tangle it. But on this tile, I think it's gonna be prettier the way that I did the first one.
using colored pencils is not my um, talent. I guess that's the best way to say it. I'm not talented with using colored pencils. All right, so there we go. Zoom out a little bit. So now I'm gonna add some color. Um, in the center, I'm gonna do just a pale yellow. And I have found even with permanent pins that yellow makes them smear and I don't know why. So I'm trying to stay off the lines as much as I can. And my line work there is a little sloppy. Well, oh, see, right there. Uh, it actually moved the ink. Okay, and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of yellow in the center. We go to the other end of this pen. Okay. And then just add some yellow. And hopefully not smear the ink. I could come back with gold or something when I'm finished and I might do that. Okay, so now we have the yellow. And next I'm gonna do the pale green and I am using Tombow markers but this is not uh, advertisement I'm not sponsored by them I don't have any sponsors except for those of you who offer your support through uh, coffee, K-O-F-I, which is uh, a site that I use. And if you're interested, that's in the description. And I greatly appreciate any contributions. Um, the Love Fragment, I forgot to mention, by Marguerite Samama uh, is part or was part of the Valentangle patterns for 2019. Valentangle is going on now, but I'm not participating this year. Uh, the list of patterns is a PDF that you buy from Marguerite. And uh, anyway, I'm not doing that this year. I think I will go ahead and put the green out here also to tie those together. And definitely do whatever colors you enjoy, make this your art. Oh, 
Okay. And now I'm going to go to the pink. And for this one, I did, uh, I think I did this one with colored pencils. I'm really not sure. But um, I left the white open in the center. And then I used uh, a red and a pink. But I don't have a darker pink. I don't want to do red. We'll see how this goes. So this is a very pale pink. And I'm going to leave the white in the center. And fill this in. I'm trying to decide if I want to use two colors of pink. So there's that one. And next to it, I could put that one. Hmm, not sure that I want to do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do every other one anyway. This is how you learn. I am not good on color theory. And that's one of the reasons I don't do well with trying to color my tiles because I feel like I don't put together the colors the way that they should. And so I enjoy it much more if the color is already on the tile and I just add the patterns. I know I did an oops there. I went a little bit into the green. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and go to that darker pink, just so we have a little bit of variety there. As you can see, it's not a huge difference, but that <laughs> is not what my paper looks like. So let's do this one and see how they work together. might be okay. And I had a quote that I meant to mention at the beginning of this. And it says, failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of success. And with our Zentangle, like I said, I did several of these before starting the video, and I could say that I failed, but it was not a fail. It was learning what did and didn't work. And now hopefully this video <laughs> will be successful and you'll enjoy it. I do appreciate the wonderful comments that I get. Makes me very happy when uh, you enjoy the videos. So thank you for those who leave comments for me.
All right, one more. All right, not sure what to think. Let's back up a little bit. It's a little bit better when you're not so zoomed in on it. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my Micron 01 and add a few highlights here and there um, down in the center. I'm just going to add some, a uh, little bit of detail in the center. And just make sure that my lines look good. I'm going to go over these just a little bit to darken them and accentuate that heart shape a little bit. Was that a real word that I use? Accentuate? <laughs> I don't know. If I'm saying the right word, crazy old woman. Okay. Got that one kind of thick, so. I'm going to try to do about the same. If you can't fix it, make it a feature. So let's just make these hearts a little bit stronger here. I did come down a little bit into the yellow with my green in a couple of spots. So that's fixing that also. Like I said, this is not quite as even as my first one, but it'll be okay. All right. Um, with my graphite pencil, I'm going to put some shading around the outside of these hearts. Where it looks like they're laying on top of leaves. Okay, now I'm going to get my blending stump, which I forgot to mention. And then I'm just going to go all around the edge and just soften it. And I think this blending stump already has a pretty good amount of graphite on it, so it's adding a little extra to it. If you ever find that there's too much on your um, blending stump, 
you can clean it with a nail file. And I'm going to do that now. Just okay. See how that cleaned it. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing on the outside of these leaves. Just add a little bit of graphite all the way around where it looks like these leaves are kind of on top of the hearts. Again, I'd encourage you to color this the way you like, or don't put any color on it. All right, and now my blending stunt. It should be a little bit better because I cleaned it. Softening it all the way around. All right, there you go. It's different, <laughs> but I hope you liked it. Again, here is my original from 2019, and it is a combination of Love Fragment and Cross Your Heart. And here's our tile for today. I'm going to put my chop on it, and then I'll get this uploaded for you guys. Um, Again, stay warm, stay safe, and um, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.